Can you imagine a situation where doctors and even collectors are trying hard to obtain the body of a loved one that passed away recently? Imagine standing ground while the coffin is lowered in their grave and gets filled with a thick layer of cement, just so that no one would steal the body. It's strange to think that a lifeless body could be tempting for so many people, but the lady who was resting under that cement slab had been famous across the United States, many years before under a maiden name, Josephine Myrtle Corbin, the four-legged girl from Texas. This is her story. Myrtle's mother had a normal pregnancy and her birth was not marked by anything out of the ordinary. Myrtle Corbin was born on May 12, 1868 in Lincoln County, Tennessee with a rare fetal anomaly called Depigus. Her body was perfectly formed from her head down to her navel, below which it divided into two separate pelvises and four lower limbs as a result of her body axis splitting as it developed. Her legs were formed in a way that each of the smaller inner legs was paired with one of the outer legs. She was said to be able to move her rudimentary inner legs, but they were too weak for walking. They weren't fully formed and couldn't reach the ground. Her right leg also had a clubbed foot, so she only had one leg that was properly formed. She also had two sets of fully functioning genital organs, two sets of bowels, and two anuses. Both sets of her organs were independent from each other, which means she would experience diarrhea on one side and constipation on the other, and her menstrual situation must have been pretty complicated. What surprised everyone was the fact that seven other children that her parents gave birth to were perfectly ordinary. As a kid, her lifestyle was far from normal. Her father realized that her condition could make them some money. When she was just 5 weeks old, he started charging a dime to anyone who wanted to see his daughter and posted ads in the local newspapers to attract more people. At the age of 13, one of the ads her father posted caught attention of P.T. Barnum, founder of the Barnum & Bailey Circus. Josephine was described as being an attractive girl, 5 feet high with curly hair, fair skin and blue eyes. She was signed up as a performer in one of the sideshows of the circus. The sideshows were smaller productions of the main circus and featured a bunch of human oddities or freaks as they were referred to back in the day. The circus freaks were extremely popular. Myrtle worked with the circus for four years after which she got married to James Clinton Bicknell at the age of 19 and settled down with him to live a quieter life. Her first pregnancy was life-threatening and ended in an abortion, but she would eventually give birth from both of her uteri during her life and proceed to have four daughters and a son. After her children reached adulthood and funds ran low, her showmanship career experienced a revival around 1909 and she eventually worked for the Ringling Brothers Circus, even performing at Coney Island. She was an instant hit and became very popular until her retirement in 1915. In 1928, Myrtle developed a streptococcal skin infection on her right leg. At that time, there was no treatment of the infection and she died less than a week after being diagnosed of the then life-threatening infection in Cleburne, Texas on May 6, 1928. After her death, several medical practitioners and private collectors offered financial compensation for her corpse. Her family knew that there were people willing to go to great lengths to get one last piece of Myrtle Corbin. So her family members covered her casket with cement and kept watch until it was fully set, an extra precaution to prevent grave robbers from stealing her corpse. A condition similar to Myrtle's can now be surgically corrected with modern science. Myrtle is not the only woman with extra limbs to be picked up as a circus performer. There's the story of Frank Lentini, a man with three legs and an extra pair of male genitals who also made it big in the freak category. Thank you for watching. If you found the video interesting, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to Seanvolution for more such content.